Carry on. How to solve this exponential problem? This is t power 3 over 2 equals 2 power 3 over 2. We are solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. Now, we can factor out this story from here. We have t power 3 times 1 over 2. And this equals 2 power 3 times 1 over 2. Now, if you have a power n times n, this equals a power n raised to a power of n, and also this equals a power m raised to the power of n. So, if this is our n, this is n, this is n, this is n. So, let's transform it using this. We have t power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3 equals 2 power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. Now, from here, if you have a power 1 over 2, this equals square root of a. So, applying that here, we have square root of t to the power of 3 equals square root of 2 to the power of 3. So right here we can form a cubic equation by moving back here. We have square root of t raised to the power of 3 minus square root of 2 raised to the power of 3 equals 0. So we have power 3 here, we have power 3 here. We can easily expand this using this cubic identity. We have a power 3 minus b power 3. This equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b power 2. And my a equals root 10 and my b equals root 2. So let's make use of this identity. For a minus b, we have root t minus root 2 times a squared, that is root t power 2 plus root t times root 2 plus root 2 power 2. And this equals 0. So from here, we can easily have this is square root of t minus root 2. This cancel this I have t plus this time this I have square root of 2t. Plus this cancel this I have 2. And this equals 0. So from here, we can equate each of these to 0 square root of t minus square root of 2 equals 0. I also have t plus square root of 2t plus 2 equals 0. So we can solve this individual equation. Now, to start with the first one here, I simply move this over here. I have root t equals root 2. This comes with this of t equals 2. Now, to solve this other one here, we need to first and foremost move this 2 over here and also the t, we move it over here. We have square root of 2t equals negative 2 minus 10. Then to eliminate the square root, we take the squares. So from here, this cancel this, we have 2t equals, for this, we have negative 2 minus t power 2. So from here, we have 2t equals negative 2 minus t times negative 2 minus t. So from here, 
We have two t equals negative two ten negative two. This is four. This is plus two t. This is plus two t again. This is plus t squared. So from here we have two t equals four plus four t plus t power two. So moving this over here, we have zero equals four plus four t plus t power two minus two t. So from here we have zero equals four. This minus this will give us two t. Plus t squared. So let's solve this quadratic equation to find the other values of t. So this is t squared plus 2t plus 4 equals 0. So in solving this quadratic equation, we are going to make use of the formula method to write a formula in respect to t of t equals negative v plus or minus square root of v squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. So 1 is the equation of t squared, that is our a, this is our b, which is c. We have t equals negative v, that is negative 2, plus or minus v squared, this is 2 power 2. Divided by 2 times b. So from here, you have t equal to this negative 2. This is 4 minus 16. Divided by 2. From here, we have t equals negative 2 plus our minus this is square root of negative 12. Divided by 2. So from here we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus this is square root of negative 1 then square root of 12 divided by 2. So from here that t equals negative 2 plus or minus this is i times square root of 12 plus 4 times 3 divided by 2. So from here we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4 that is 2 root 3 divided by 2. So we are going to be left with t equals negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. So we have two values for t. We have t2 equals negative 1 plus i root 3. And we have t3 equals negative 1 minus i root 3. So these are the two complex values. We also have one real solution, which is t equals 2. Now, even if you want to check, you have your real solution, t equals 2. You have t power 3 over 2. equals 2 power 3 over 2 is your t, so you have 2 power 3 over 2 equals 2 power 3 over 2. And don't forget the fact that if you have a power n over m equals the m root of a power n. So applying that here and here, we are going to have the square root of 2 power 3 square root of 2 power 3. So this is just like having square root of 8 and equal square root of 8. The both sides are the same. So guys, this is how you can solve this exponential problem step by step. And I believe you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and see you in our next video. Goodbye.